You gotta explain to me what we're doing here. You ready? You got the plan? So this is uh, the shot creep phase. This is where we shoot uh, 40, what'd you order? 4,500 PSI? 4,500 PSI. A pool like this is about 30 yards. Uh, so we got a Baja bench, a couple of the keys you'll see that's gonna cost me some money. Uh, this one got rained on. Uh, we had to come in and clear so you see all that dirt that fell out, those pockets. Everything that's gone, we got to fill it up with something. So as long as that gun is shooting, the the, the, the price tag is ticking. So these guys love it. I hate it. Um, if you got time, fill it in. This is uh, Pollo from Baja Chakri. There's Art. And that guy over there, we just found him on the street. I don't know what he's doing here. Home Depot. Yeah, Depot. Home Depot guy. <laughs> now, so this, we're in Pomona. This job right here, uh, it was a nightmare. We started right before the, the storms hit. So, caved in on us, we had to redo the rebar, redo the plumbing, take out all the mud. Uh, it's just been a nightmare. And then we had issues with the power lines. Inspector came out, even though they approved the permits, they freaking failed us because they said we were too close to the power lines, which the second time around they came and said we were fine. So this job's been on hold for a while. We had a cancellation today, so we decided to come shoot at last minute. Uh, hopefully the mud shows up. guys laid out the the lines these wires are to kind of give them a reference of where they're gonna cut the the shell so the pool walls are 12 inches thick uh, you want to make sure the rebar is three inches off of the dirt that's why you have adobes on the bottom and then these guys know what they're doing they try not to walk on the rebar and smash it down uh, you'll see a lot of people come in and flatten it all out rebar be sitting on the dirt and then it doesn't set right uh, within the floor of the pool the floor the floor of the pool is about nine inches the coves are gonna be about nine inches. In this case, they're gonna be about 15 with all the, the cave-ins that we had. Baja bench is gonna be 12 inches of water. We'll have an entry step here. Uh, we're gonna have a bench in front of the spa and we have a full size uh, raised spa on the side. So behind, we're gonna have a, uh, we call that a raised bomb beam. So we'll put a, a water feature on there, uh, cut it down to size. And in the next three hours, we should have a pool. All right, so after we shoot this, we'll um, water it, hose it down for at least 14 days, twice a day. Uh, it helps it, helps it cure and get up the strength. So we want to make sure that the pool shrinks down before we apply any finishes because it's going to shrink an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch. If we set the tile too soon, it'll pop off. So come show me your truck, man. We got to we gotta highlight your truck. Tell them, tell them everything in the truck. So Baja, these guys, well, you guys been shooting for me for like, what, three, four years? Three, four years. So they ain't the cheapest, but in this game, you gotta be loyal. So if you get taken care of, you get good service, you gotta stick to what you know. I'm big on loyalty. Uh, so I rock with Baja. This is their get up. One of the main reasons I like my stuff clean and they got one of the best rigs out there. So. You got a F550 truck, right? You guys check them out. There's Baja Shot Creek, small family operation. You guys run two pumps, no? Two pumps. What? Old truck, old pump, old five. We got the 21 at the house. What, tell them what this, all this stuff is. I don't know what this is. Uh, Compressor. Oh, yeah. We got about a quarter mil here, uh, $26,000. The truck right now is worth like 80,000. Hoses are 1,300 bucks each. Water tank to wash out the concrete pump. Um, that concrete pump is 05 um, with the tier four uh, motor. So we're up to up to date on that with the regulations. And a new pump will run you like about 160, 140. 
What a mill setup. So I'm a builder. When I started, I wanted to have everything in house, right? I don't like to wait when uh, COVID times, it was really hard to get guys out. You know, we're waiting five to 10 weeks for, for a shoot. So I can get a pull from dig, steel, plumbing, gas, electrical in four to five days. And then I'm sitting waiting for weeks on end. So I said, hey, I'm gonna go buy me a truck, get this whole setup, what he just mentioned, a new pump and just go into business myself. Well, it's not such a good idea. If you got business savvy, you leave it to the people that do this day in and day out. By the time you pay the insurances, you have the crew to work it, it's just more cost effective to, to sub it out. So we sub out our shot creek shoots. Uh, Baja Shakri takes care of us. Today was unplanned. We had a cancellation somewhere else and we said, hey, we're ready to go, let's shoot it. Um, so if you're a builder and you're thinking about shooting, you better have at least six to 10 shoots a week to even pay the bills. If not, it ain't even worth it. Good crew. Keeps everything running smooth. You know, if you got a Shock Creek crew that's showing up last minute when the pump's already here, that mud is getting hot, right? It's gonna get hot, it can clog up in the in the hose, you're gonna have a lot of problems. So a good crew is gonna show up early. You see he's uh, shooting all his elevations, meaning he's getting a reference level of what the finished deck's gonna be. What I show on the plans is my finished grade for the, the bond beam. And then he's running wires to guide the guys as they're cutting the concrete. So we're not, uh, you know, just, just winging it once the mud gets here trying to figure it out. So these guys' jobs, when they show up, they usually ask a few questions. If you wanna be a good designer and you wanna eliminate questions and you're sending a crew and you don't plan to be there on your shoot, make sure that you have the following questions answered. They need to know the depths of all benches and steps. They need to know uh, the depth of the Baja bench. What's the finish? Are you doing nine inches of water, 12 inches, 15? What type of lounge chairs are you gonna have? On the spa, they need to know if it's gonna be all one elevation. Typical depths are about 21 inches. If you got some uh, shorter people, you go 24 inch, or uh, 24 inch depth is for the taller people, 21 for the shorter. I like to do 21 on the access point and 24 on the spillway. So in case you got some tall and short, they have somewhere to, to sit without having their nipples out of water. Um, so when you guys come here, you gotta be really careful because there's a lot of rebar and reference wires. So that, that'll definitely put a good hole in you. Um, the pool plumbing, needs to be under pressure all the time throughout the construction. So there's a gauge on the filter. If you look at that big filter there, uh, I have a green gauge that tells me that everything here is whole, meaning no one broke a pipe, there's nothing leaking. Uh, so when we fill this with concrete, we're not trying to figure out where the leak is at in the pool. Um, so all this manifold here is what's gonna run your jet action for your spa. You have your uh, main drain at the bottom, and then you have your skimmer on the side. This is what's gonna suck the leaves up from the surface and bring it back to the filter, clean it out and push it back through the return lines. These white lines here, those are all return lines. This is what controls the flow of water around a pool. Any body of water, you don't wanna have stagnant uh, water because that's where you get bacteria growth and algae and all that. Um, so this is a very small lot in Pomona. We were able to fill it a full size pool. It's very deep. This is a grandkid pool. Uh, so we gave them a uh, clean access, a little older couple that, that lives here. So we gave them a lot of seating area, a lot of place to entertain the kids. So when we get the truck in, you'll get some, some views of, uh, uh, of the process of how this is applied. So I just talked to the homeowner, right? I told you all the pains we had on this project. In her head, you know, she thinks that this project has been going on for six months, right? So this is for all you homeowners. Your project starts the day you dig. I don't know if your permits are gonna take a week. I don't know if they're gonna take a year, but that doesn't mean your pool construction took a year plus whatever time to construct. So make sure you communicate with your homeowners. Uh, you're gonna have rains, you're gonna have permit delays, you're gonna have cave-ins, you're gonna have problems. Uh, a true pool build can take five to eight weeks, not a year. That's super unsatisfactory, uh, but you gotta communicate that. Don't think that the minute you drop a deposit for a design is when your pool starts. It's actually when you start digging. So this is when it starts the shock creep. 